again, this is Javier with a quick class on how to set up your IC Solutions software so that you can go ahead and become familiar with it by the time you take your audition. I'm at the Specialized Markets U or Specialized Markets University website. And when I come in down here, by now you should have selected the uh, registration link to select your username and password. All you're going to do is go ahead and log into the system. Once you log in, it'll bring you to the closer training page where we are, where I'm at right now. Uh, scroll down under the video, and you're going to see where it says click here to download the LSWIC solution software. Follow the instructions that are posted here, and you'll be just fine. Once you do install the software, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fire it up. And it's going to look something like the one that I have on my screen right now. Now, the first thing we're going to do is customize it. We're going to go ahead and go to the upper left-hand uh, corner and click on Tools, Agent Information, and you're going to put your name here. Make sure you put the office address, whether you're out of Torrance or Cerritos or Orange County, uh, the correct address of whatever office you're plugging into. Then you're going to go ahead and simply save the changes and close it, and that will bring us back up here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Tools tab at the top, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select User Preferences. Now, this is important because we want to make sure that every time you open it up, it opens up the right way. Uh, as you can see here, it defaults to the state of Vermont, which is where National Life Group is based out of. So you're going to go ahead and just simply have the, you know, your screen reflect what you see on mine. The only exception might be the LSW provider. Uh, you might be working with a team that's heavily uh, into the secure uh, uh, the flex life. So it doesn't really matter. So select one of the two and hit OK. Once you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and uh, OK it. I'm going to close it brings us right back to where uh, we were before. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to run an actual quick, cal quick calculation. You're just simply going to come up here and place the client's name. In this example, we have Joe Smith. You're going to select uh, the sex. We don't go by age, but rather by the actual date of birth. So let's just say this person was born on um, January 8th, 1980. Very, very important to stick to the date. Uh, from that, we're just going to go ahead and leave the uh, verified standard non-tobacco, which you see there. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and under the face amount design, where it says solve for face amount, we're going to select minimum DB, which stands for death benefit, maximum cash value. Then you're going to leave the uh, level A, or option A level. You're going to leave that alone. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here on the left-hand side to the premiums and distributions. When we go there, you're going to see the Annual, well, we're going to select Checkomatic. The new one shows elect EFT, Electronic uh, Fund Transfer, EFT is what you're going to want to have. And then here's where you just simply input the amount that they're going to put on a monthly basis. In this example, is $250. And then the full pay simply means that it will illustrate them paying until they basically die. Or if you're showing a specific age, in this example, I'm just going to use 67 you just simply go ahead and from the drop down menu select the 67 guideline premium test stays the same and then you're just going to go down to the distribution information and under income we're going to switch it from a no to a yes and we're going to solve for max level income one and as you can see it automatically uh, placed the 67 there for me because that's the age in which the person above stopped uh, contributing and then the number of years means how long they're going to uh, receive income. We can illustrate up to 120 years of age or 119. Uh, then for the distribution code, it's very important. We want to make sure that we have it under loans only. That's pretty much it. At this point, what you're going to do is hit the quick calc on the left-hand side or on the upper uh, top portion of the screen as well. Once it go, uh, fires up, it's going to take about... 30 to 45 seconds to run the calculation and it will come back with all the information that you're going to need as you go over your actual audition and there you go so this we just confirmed the date of this person also the age as you can see down here uh, this is a verified standard non tobacco the face amount is two hundred and forty four thousand five hundred and twenty eight dollars on the upper right here or the center se uh, section we confirmed that we did put the two hundred and fifty dollars which is what they're going to be contributing uh, this is referring to the um, minimum. And then on the upper right-hand corner, you'll also see the target premium, which is what the commission that we get paid, that you get paid, is based out of uh, that number up there as well. But the important part, though, is that you got to make sure your columns are showing up as I have them on my screen. You want the first one to be the age, policy year, annual outlay, total death benefit, current death benefit, total cash value, 
current cash value and the annual income. If your actual uh, columns don't look the, uh, the way that I'm showing them to you right now, then all you simply have to do is as follows. If you want to move in, if, first of all, if you see stuff here that you don't see on yours or vice versa, what you're going to do is you're going to stick to the uh, top headers section, top row, and you're going to right-click it. When you right-click it, you'll have the options that you see here in front of me. It defaults to a lot of the guaranteed cash value and the guaranteed death benefit. Uncheck it so it doesn't show up. And anything that does not show up, check it so it appears. Very simple. Once you do that, like right here, if I take, if I uncheck age, it went away. If I go ahead and click on it, it pops up. So once you have that, you want to make sure you have the exact same headers as you see here and in the exact same order. Here, you'll notice that annual income is before current cash value, which is wrong. So what you're going to do is hover over the annual income and left click it, hold on, you can hold on to the left click and drag it to the right until it shows up where you need it to be. So if policy year is wrong, again, left click and hold, drag it to wherever the little blue line and wherever the blue line is highlighted, that's where it's going to go. So again, you want to make sure you move them around, have them in the right order, and then you'll be that much better position. So this is how you set up your software. It's a short class and just start practicing running the quick calculations that I showed you. All right, thank you.